Well, you guys, it took students three hours to get to school after they were already supposed to be at school during the day. And I can actually show you how many buses they had to use from other school districts. They're all lined up right here and just a couple of more buses that got their catalytic converter stolen. They're still here, but most of them were towed away already. This car has been involved in other crimes. Look at police are searching for the suspects in a catalytic converter theft over the weekend here at All Star Transportation. Police releasing this video, you can see that the alleged suspect was driving an SUV, a car well known to other departments too. We've been in contact with other area departments uh, that know what's going on. We have the same description, the same car that's been hitting a lot of them. So sooner or later, they will be caught. They allegedly stole eight catalytic converters from school buses, causing a three hour delay for some students. They have other buses. They were able to get them in here to, you know, do what they have to do and get the kids home. Connecticut just passed a new law that says it'll now be illegal for motor vehicle recyclers to receive a car's catalytic converter unless it's physically attached to the car. It's going to have some impact, that new law, but, you know, we're right next to New York, right next to Massachusetts, Rhode Island. It's, you know, a quick drive away to get rid of these. And they are asking you at home if you know anything to please contact them and we'll get DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.